What is the purpose of life according to our gurus? Is there a need of religion in the modern age? Religion. I hate the word religion. And I'm not going to be, you've heard this a hundred times, Sikhi is more than a religion. The problem with us six is that there's twofold problem. The problem with six is that we view ourselves and the rest of the world through a Sikh prism, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but we judge other religions, and this might offend some people, but I, I'm just going to say, we judge other religions from a Sikh prism, from a Sikh standpoint. So we are often saying, you know, all religions are, you know, the same. They all strive to make a better society and better people. I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think from a Sikh standpoint, us being very non-judgmental in the sense that we don't condemn anyone to hell. We don't say that you have to follow Sikhi. We don't, we don't really look down upon anybody. We, in fact have Guru Hargobind Sahib that built a mosque for his Muslim uh, residents in his town. We don't look down on anybody. But at the same time, we have to be realistic that there are some interpretations of religion and the way religion is followed. Probably the vast majority of... Uh, like the problem with why people hate religion is because you're judged. Like I've had this conversation with some Muslims and Christians. I say to them, do you think that there's salvation in your religion exclusively? And they're like, yes. So then, do you think I'm going to hell? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's not for me to judge, but you know, you need to accept Christ, or you need to accept Islam. So the answer is yes, right? And for a regular person on the street, how do they feel if they know the person they're talking to thinks they're going to hell? I don't want to, I don't like the idea of that. It doesn't make me feel comfortable. And the rest of the world sees six through that same prism that they understand religion, which is hateful, judgmental, uh, exclusive. And that's why six are often thrown under the bus uh, by mainstream society and we don't really get a fair shake. Uh, I personally believe that Sikhi is an amazing path. It's different than any other path that I know of. Um, what was the start part of your question? Um, it said, uh, what is the purpose of life according to our gurus? So the perp I think Sikhi is very clear that don't worry about the rest of the world. Don't even worry about your afterlife because you're going to meet God in this life. That is the purpose of your life. If you don't do it while you're alive, then don't expect for anything to happen after you're dead. Uh, so that's what makes Sikhi different than any other religion, in that we're not passing our time until we die. We have to actively be striving for this experience while we're alive. Because Guru Sahib has told us very clearly, if you didn't do it while you're alive, then don't expect it to happen once you're dead. Yeah,